Hey YouTube, in this video I'm gonna show you the jailbreak of iOS 9.3.3. Here you can see I'm having this iPhone 5s and getting into settings, general, about, here you can see this iPhone is running on iOS 9.3.3 and we have got the jailbreak of iOS 9.3.3 from Pangu and this jailbreak is only for 64-bit devices so iPhone 5s or later iPad mini 2 or later will get this particular jailbreak uh, one more thing that uh, this jailbreak is a semi tethered jailbreak so if you somehow restart your device then you lose the jailbreak and you need to re jailbreak your device for getting the jailbreak back on your device so i'll be showing you that process on re jailbreaking after restarting your device uh, let's get into the process so first of all you need to download this particular file and this is the pp jailbreak file so you need to download this particular file from this website this is en.pangyu.io and showing us coming soon this is the english version which is coming soon but we'll get the chinese version from this particular website we need to click on this link and from here here you can see in the middle we have got the red mark so we need to click on this and it will get you into this particular website we need to scroll down and we'll get zero one as here you can see 01 and just under that we'll get the blue link so I'll give the direct link on the description of this video so you just need to click on the link over there and you will be presented to the download page and you can download the file so after downloading the file you need to run it as administrator click on the button so it will start the process and after that you need to connect your device to your computer with the USB cable and it is installing the file on your computer so after the installation completes you need to click on the big button in the middle I know it's a Chinese version but don't worry I will walk you through the process so you need to allow access to the firewall settings as we don't want any issues with the firewall so we need to hit allow access and then we'll be presented to this particular page we need to click the green button so after this it will start the process on installing the profile on your device get into the settings of our device scroll down and get into general over here scroll down device management just under VPN so here you can see uh, we need to enter the captcha it's showing us enter the captcha so we'll enter the captcha and hit the green button and after this it will ask you for entering the Apple ID make sure you enter a genuine Apple ID as because it will sideload that particular profile on your device with which you'll get the PP jailbreak application on your device so you need to enter your genuine apple id so i'll enter my apple id so once we enter the apple id we need to click the green button and it will start the process so after it has been done it will show you like this it will present you with a green button but we don't need to click anywhere but on our device we need to get into device management and we'll get the new profile with the name of our apple id over here you can see this is our apple id so we need to get into this so we'll hit the trust trust again and the application will get verified so once the application gets verified you need to get into the home screen and over here you can see the new PP jailbreak application so from here we need to jailbreak our device okay so once done we need to get into the application which we had just now got so we'll get into the application and we will hit OK on the notification pop-up so over here you can see the circle and to click on this and now we just need to lock our device so make sure after clicking on the circle we need to lock our device and it will show you like this storage almost full and also it will show you the pp jailbreak is running in the background so now we just need to keep our device locked as because it will run the whole jailbreak process on the background and after the jailbreak has been done it will automatically restart your device and 
we will get Cydia on our home screen. So we'll wait for the restart and we'll be coming back uh, once the jailbreak gets completed. So here you can see guys our jailbreak has got completed and boom we have got Cydia on our home screen. I don't know about others but for me it's a real success. After so many days we are getting the jailbreak of iOS 9.3.3. So now we'll get into Cydia and here you can see Cydia is running without any problem. So guys, as you can see, after reloading data has been completed, I'll just scroll down. I'll show you that it's running on iOS 9.3.3. Here you can see iOS 9.3.3 and we are getting Cydia. So after this, uh, we first need to install a particular tweak, which is called Apple File Condit 2. As because this is a semi-tether jailbreak, for getting the tether jailbreak, we need to install Apple File Condit 2. For that, we'll get into search and we'll search for Apple file conduit 2 so over here you can see so this is the version 1.2 and we need to hit install confirm and it will install Apple file conduit 2 on our device and after this it will ask you for respringing your device so we'll hit restart springboard and after restarting the springboard we will get the third jailbreak on our device so guys that's the way how you can jailbreak your device now i'll show you if somehow you restart your device then what we'll do so we'll restart our device we'll power off our device and we'll restart our device again so after restarting your device we'll unlock it okay so now if we want to get into Cydia then here you can see Cydia will crash so now what we need to do we will clear Cydia from multitasking pane and we'll get into the PP jailbreak application again from where we had jailbroken our device so we'll hit OK and we'll hit the circle again and we'll lock our device and this time it will be real quick while jailbreaking your device again so it will do the whole process under 10 seconds and it will respring your device very quickly and after that we'll get our jailbreak back on our device so now here you can see after respringing if you get into Syria it will run without any problem so guys that's the way how you can jailbreak your device running iOS 9.3.3 I repeat this is for 64 bit devices only so go ahead and jailbreak your device so guys that's all for this video and if you like this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel as we'll be coming up with all other cool stuffs in the near future so thanks again for watching this video I hope to see you guys in my next video